So one of the things with technology that I always think about is that technology shouldn't exist just for technology's sake. Technology for me, I, I have a humanist view, which is it should be for the benefit of people ultimately. So even with things like IoT and the data that we can create from Internet of Things type technologies, I would actually look at where you'd get the maximum benefit for your existing stakeholders in your IoT strategies before you start. So you, there are many different devices, I mean there are millions of devices now actually connected to the internet and those can be for insurers, these are like health and fitness type devices, you know how far do you actually want to go with having internet of things being able to track the people that you're actually insuring. I mean, these are big questions for these organisations as we go forward. When we're talking to um, banks, etc., there's a lot of different devices that they can put into the home. So if you look at insurance for your house, one of the requirements is window locks, that you should have secure window locks to be able to get a reduction on your insurance premium. If you extend that to something like IoT, and we start to introduce remote cameras on front doors and those sorts of things, what impact can that have over time in terms of the net risk to those institutions and then a flow on effect of a reduced cost for the consumer. So that's where we would look at some of the IoT. The second area I think is in actually the assets that could be funded by major institutions. So in the past, I mean I previously actually used to work in the trucking industry, would you believe? And the trucking industry in Australia was one of the early industries to put Internet of Things type technologies into trucks. And what you could do is you could measure how that truck was being used, how it was being driven, was it over a certain number of revs, and it provided a lot of information to the mechanics on how they should service that particular vehicle. But what it also did was provide information to the people that had financed that vehicle and also information to the owners of the vehicle about how that vehicle was being used. And when you're talking about a piece of machinery that costs 250,000 US dollars per truck, that's the sort of thing that I think financial institutions and major lenders are actually very interested in because they are financing the growth of other businesses. They do fund very big assets. So whether that's a mine that they might be insuring or a mine that they might be funding, and then putting devices around that mine, like devices that can actually net measure how much dust is being created and whether or not that has a net impact on the environment around that mine site. These are all very interesting issues for major financiers around the world. So I'm sure they're looking very hard at Internet of Things technologies beyond just what, I, what you'd think about in terms of personal wearables all the way through to major industrial uses of those technologies.